Hey guys, it's Natalie. Hey guys, it's Madeline. I thought today we'd throw in a Q&A because that's extra fun. I hate myself. Hey guys, it's Madeline. Since I've been traveling oh so much lately and that's the only... No, it looks like you're just hitting things or in the air. There's so many! Today, we are doing a Q&A because it has been... How long has it been since I've done a Q&A? It's been a long time. I would say probably like nine months or maybe even... No, not, not, that, not long. that long. Okay, <laughs> but I bring back the Q&A for today. A lot of my... Without fail... Quiet on set! Big nose, the camera's on. Lately, I've been doing a lot of travel vlogs because my life has been very hectic and I've been loving every second of it, but I thought... I will sit down with you guys today and do a little Q&A. We are 17 in the show right now. So in five years we would be 22. I don't think there must be like an animal outside. Is the cat out there? I definitely don't think they would be engaged yet. I think they would continue to take it slow enjoy their time together, and probably be living together hopefully far away from Riverdale, so no one else dies. I'm really embarrassed that I'm good at ASMR. My first answer is Wes Anderson. Fantastic director. Look him up. Woo! Shoney taking care of the twins freaks me out. I think they have no experience with children whatsoever. I mean, maybe Tony does. We don't know much about her backstory, but Cheryl definitely doesn't. And I think it's cute, and I think it'll bring them together, but it also will bring a lot more fights because essentially they're going to have their own children, and I think with children come a lot more responsibilities. I do worry that it might actually cause more fights. Sweeney Todd. <gasps> Sweeney Todd would fit in perfectly with Riverdale, too. I actually was asked this question recently at a convention. I think it takes between an hour and a half and two hours to transform into Cheryl. It depends on the day. You guys, I was in Paris for 24 hours. No, I didn't learn any French words. Oh my god, my favorite song right now is Clean by the Japanese house. Germany and places that I haven't been before in Europe, so Germany is definitely on my list. Actually. Ah! Four years old. I'm way too young to be thinking about kids. However, Travis and I are still together and we're very, very happy. It has been two and a half years? Whoa. A little less than two and a half years. That's nutty. It does not feel that long. When you say it out loud, it feels like a long time, but in my head, it feels like it's been a year. I feel like I would just go brown. Oh my god, it just got so dark outside. I'm really sad. It'll be fine soon. Um, it's weird how immediately I got depressed when that happened. You could not live in no, no, Washington. Live. What are some of your- Okay! This- <laughs> Sun up! Oh my gosh, I need to give you like a sad lip just in case. Um... of things are incredibly relative and I try not to focus too much on milestones and more so focus on happiness and being a whole human being. Some stuff that I look back on that I'm like, whoa, I got to do that. But being able to go to the Met Gala was, I mean, <laughs> the craziest thing I've ever experienced. That's kind of what I like to focus on the most is like being grateful and being happy about where I'm at. So all the things I've accomplished in the last three years, I would say, are things that I really love and relish that I've accomplished and I'm very grateful for all of them and I can't wait to see what the future holds. I'm trying not to have too many expectations. How do y'all know I met up with Roberto? <laughs> what the hell? Um, I cannot give you any spoilers. I'll tell you that it sounds like the season could possibly be your favorite. I'm really excited for it. It sounds like it's going to be really cool. changes very often, but I most recently did Elite Daily, and I think that shoot was really fun. I got to pick the entire team, and so it was all people that I know work really well together, and it was such a fun and creative environment, so Elite Daily was one of my favorites. Then I also recently did a photo shoot for Glass Magazine, and that photo shoot's so different than anything else I've ever done, so I would say both of those are two of my favorites. <laughs> 
no, I wouldn't get a tattoo. I just, you know, if I'm keeping it real, guys, I am so indecisive. I change my mind. Stupid, stupid. Oh, God. <laughs> you're, not, you're not doing it. I don't know how to ride a motorcycle. However, I most recently rode bird scooters for five miles in my last video, linked up above. Whoever gave me the permission to take a bird was an idiot. <laughs> How do you guys feel about me starting a series on my channel where I do new things all the time? If you guys enjoyed this and you want to see more Q&As, let me know in the comments below. I hope I got to answer your question. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe to weekly videos. I try to put videos every Wednesday if I can. I will see you guys next week, hopefully. You guys are amazing. Thank you for sending in all the questions, and I'll see you soon.